All right, let's try. I need to talk to you. My Latin friends, my Cuban friends from Florida. You need to understand something. You're sleeping with the devil and that devil being the GOP. When Trump first came into office, Obama had set up plans for tourist flights back and forth to Cuba for their scientists to work with our scientists to the benefit of both countries to cut back on those sanctions because they really weren't doing anything. Cuba deals with over 80 different countries around the world. This is not helping the United States and it's not really hurting Cuba. Not the way they thought it would. Trump closed, gave the order for over 400 Western Union offices to be closed. Right now, during holiday season, right before Christmas, right before New Year's, where some members who have now live here in America send money back to their families to help them to celebrate the holidays, maybe to buy some gifts. He decided to shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, you are forgetting. You are forgetting. You are coming by way of a southern border the same as those who come from Guatemala, Venezuela, or Mexico. And if they look down on them and they're willing to put children in cages there, How is it different for you? What, wet foot, dry foot? Are you forgetting there are people who cross the Rio Grande? So, yes, they have wet foot and dry foot. Same as you. Cuban, my Cuban people, my Cuban friends. The GOP remains silent. While he did this, right during the holidays, as he's about to go out the door, like a petulant child, he's going to throw an extra sanction on Cuba. Why? What did Cuba do? Survive? So, he's angry because Cuba is not falling apart? Think about that. He is that small-minded that he's throwing this sanction and blocking you from being able to help your families because he lost? And the GOP remains silent. You know, the group you think you're really a part of. Black people long ago learned we're not part of either the Democratic or the Republican Party. We know the devil we sleep with. We use the, de the Dems and they use us. What are you getting out of this deal? They scream socialism and you keel over. This country is a democratic socialist country. It has been since its birth. Is it the same as in Cuba? No. A different kind of socialism. More progressive. That's why there are progressives on the Democratic side. You will find none on the GOP. Because it's all party. No country. Hmm. Kind of sounds a bit like Cuba, doesn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, understand something. He deliberately, deliberately pissed on you. No two ways about it. That's exactly what he did. What's he going to say? Oh, there were drugs coming from Cuba? No, there weren't. Otherwise, it would be all over the news. He just wanted to hurt Cuba. 
and be damned your family, your grandma, your grandpa, your auntie in Cuba. Be damned them. That is who Trump is, and that is who the GOP is. And that is who you have chosen to hit your little red wagon to. Be careful. They'll come back around wanting your votes. But you have to remember, the two highest position members who are actually Cuban, Cruz and Rubio, have said nothing, but I'm sure they'll come around looking for your vote to stay in office. This is dangerous. You are falling and following a false party. And it's going to come back and hurt you. Because trust and believe, someday they'll get back into office. And someone else will decide to take a pot shot at Cuba, irregardless of the people who live there. Over and over again, they keep doing it. And you keep voting for them. I understand the first generation here is all about, oh my goodness, we're free. We're in a democracy. You're in a democracy as long as you do what the party you choose to follow tells you to do and who you vote for. Start thinking for yourself. Explain to your elders. This is not Cuba's socialism or communism. This is American socialists and American progressives. And you are no better than the Mexicans at our southern border who come across with a wet foot, dry foot, the same as you. Only you're a political pawn that they can use. Look at the Cubans. Look how well they get along in Miami. Look how well their families are doing. I know for a fact some of you are in training programs, welfare, housing discounts. You got the whole thing. Now look at the people who come across the other southern border. Shipped back in the dead of night. Having their children stolen from their arms. Missing. Over 500 kids. You have no idea where their parents are. But you have the luxury of wet foot, dry foot. For political purposes only. Someday, they may decide that's not going to count anymore. And you'll be on the same level as the people at the other southern border. Think about it. This has been Tea Time with Tea. Y'all have a good evening. Remember, think about this. Remember what Trump has done with the OK of the GOP. You can look me up over on TikTok at T-E-E Brown 105. Just the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Good night.